Hey guys, welcome to another Top Drive video. And today it is the Racer Finals 2 and it's all 15 races. Okay guys, so welcome to some of the toughest rounds I have done in any challenge since I've started playing top drives. This is the Old Guard Finals, uh, Racer Finals 2, um, which to access this you need to have won 5 tokens from the Racer Challenges. Um, and it is for your first legendary prize car. Either the RQ87 Audi or the RQ87 Mitsubishi, whichever one you want to choose. Um, and guys, it's not easy at all. So I will pre-apologise for the fact that I've been using um, Max Epics. Um, but the requirement is towards the end that you have Epics and Legendaries... Um, with minimum of two fuses anyway. Uh, but let me tell you, I would suggest bringing maxed epics as well because um, I just don't think that half-cut epics will even cut the mustard in this challenge. Certainly, certainly one of the toughest ones I've done. Um, I've got to admit, I think the 4GT challenge was quite hard. Um... But this one, just a little bit harder. Um, how can I put it? I, I don't want to put it like sounding like um, condescending or anything like that. It was easy in the aspect of the fact that I could have used the cars I've got. And I had to use the cars I've got because they were all maxed. But guys, if you haven't got a max, this is really, really going to be a tough challenge for you. I mean, I could fly through it just by putting everything maxed in. Boom, done. No problem. Um, but you know what I'm about, guys. I like to try and find the cars that fit for other players too. I like to try and, um, you know, show the rounds and say, well, this will actually win with this. and this will. You know how I do my races. You know how I do my rounds. Uh, but this this has been a bit different because I've either got all or nothing. On the epics I built, I've either got all or nothing. Um, so when all the tokens came out initially, uh, I maxed like three Aston Martins. I maxed a Mercedes. Um, I maxed the Lancia rally car um, and you know, one of the K-Troms and stuff like that. So that's what I focused my um, my tickets on. And, uh, of course, it's benefited me in regards to that. So I've got no, no epics that are half cut because I just haven't built them because that's not how I build my garage. I focus on one epic at a time or try to um unless like just needed f one fuse or something like that uh, i am currently building two rally cars uh, but i'm only going to build them one two three so i am going to have two half cut epics potentially for the final sort of um the the ch the elite finals too i couldn't get my words out i couldn't think what it was um, Elite's final two, um, that's going to be the one where I think you're going to need more rally cars from what I've seen. Uh, yeah, so, you, you know, you know, I like to try and do these videos best I can and give you the advice I can, but I haven't brought any half-cut epics, and that's just, just how it is, unfortunately. I've just not brought any. So I will apologise for bringing... <coughs> Max epics, but the requirements are epics and legendaries anyway. Uh, like I said just before. Now I would have put this video up last night, um, but 
and if you're in the, on the European servers, you will know that yesterday we had a, an outage for about an hour on the servers. Um, around 8 o'clock. And then we had another outage on the servers between like 10 and 11 or 10 and a half, 11. And I was like, do you know what? what? I can't even complete the challenge because of the server outage. And I'm not staying up until stupid o'clock at night to put the videos on. Um, so, you know, I got my kids to school this morning and then making the video. But I've managed to beat beat this challenge and I've also managed to beat the Elite uh, 1 finals as well. So that video will follow um, pretty much um, very quickly after this one. But I just think it takes takes a piss a little bit that the servers were down for so many hours yesterday. Again, you know, we're not even in a Tri-Series final. Something needs to be sorted. Um, and and I, I, I don't know what it is, but I know for a fact that, because uh, I speak to a lot of Americans and stuff like that, that they were they were bang on. Their, their servers were bang on. Um, it just seems to be the European servers, and it seems to be time and time again and it's just becoming a joke um i don't even know what to to say i don't know what their resolve is going to be but they need to do something because it is just it is becoming a joke right moving on from that anyway i've had my little rant about the servers now um it is going to be new tri series tonight, I'd imagine. Um, it is Thursday, um, so Thursday is when the new tri series start. Personally, I hope they don't make it tri series and they make it a GT series. Um, I, I think they need to take a break from the tri series um, and. <clears throat> Um, allow the servers to be fixed, allow the, the, you know, whatever needs to be done, because, again, European servers crashed at the finals, um, and a lot of players got pissed off, <laughs> and, you know, a lot of players invest into the game, so, you know, everyone's got the right to be pissed off about it, too, um, and, their, and their resolution, well, the first resolution was to um, give the non-owners a challenge to try and own the W Motors Fenrir Supersport um, because if they couldn't, you know, if they failed on the on the finals because of the servers, or uh, sorry, that's what so that's what their initial plan was to do. Give them give them another challenge um, and allow them to try and win it again. Unfair, I think, possibly. Um, I don't know what the resolution would have been to do with that. Um, but then they decided to change that resolution because of the concerns of, well, I'd say, probably 50 or 60% of the game base. Um, so th their decision is to run the next Tri-Series and... Um, do like a token system where if uh, if you win the next prize car, you can exchange it for the Fenrir Super Sport if that's what you wish to do. If you didn't win it last time, um, or keep the current one, uh, I have a little concern about that. To be fair, as well. Uh, my concern being that, um, okay, so you had a really good hand for the Fenrir Super Sports Finals. It was Nissan, it was Peugeot, it was 2000 to 2009. Um, you had a really good hand, you had a good shot at top 10. You were in the top 10 for the majority of the, the weekend. And then you failed because of the servers. You weren't able to race, other people knocked you out of the top 10. Because, don't forget, the servers didn't affect everyone. Um, so other people could play while others couldn't 
Um, so then when the next finals come, this next weekend come in, um, and they say, oh, you can, you know, you can choose to change the prize car if you wish, you might not have a hand that's going to make even top 20 uh, of that finals. So not only have you missed out on the Fenway Supersport um, due to the server errors, you're then not going to get a chance to even get it back because you haven't got a hand that's going to win the top 10 next time. Uh you know, so that's 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 a major concern. Um, that's a ma- major, you know, step in the wrong direction. I think you know. Okay, they've increased it to twelve players now that will win for the next two finals. Great. I think personally, I think the top fifteen should win the prize car anyway. Um. Because if you start doing the maths, you you look at the fact that top 10 out of 500 is 2%. If you make it top 12 out of 500, that's 2.4%. There's not a massive difference. But when you start taking into account that um, overfilled brackets come in uh, into play, you know, you could have anywhere I've seen... 208, I've seen 238, I've seen 280, uh, sorry, not 200, 588, I've seen, I've seen a bracket with over 600 people before in a finals, that percentage that's actually winning the prize car radically reduces, um, so that 2, 2% then drops down to 1.5% or whatever it is, just give more people the prize car, at the end of the day, all it is is pixels on a screen. You're not going to kill the game. In fact, I'd think you'd give more if you give more more people opportunity to win the prize car. More people are going to invest. More people are going to push harder. More people are going to use their resources, and all for an extra half a percentage of people in each bracket. Something needs to happen. It needs to happen right away. Um, and I don't know. Surely it's just good economics. I mean, at the end of the day, we've got a cost of living crisis across the world. Um, <clears throat> you know, inflation's gone up. Um, your food shop has gone up. Your fuel costs have gone up. Um, your gas and electric bills have gone up your wages haven't gone up um and then the stuff like the price of gold in the game has gone up for something digital um it feels greedy it feels unwarranted you know why not increase the carbon fiber packs from five cards to ten cards or Where's our special weekends? You know, why didn't I see all these games online where they go, oh, special weekend, 50% off everything. Bang, you do that once a month. You get people to spend. You know, why are carbon fibres so expensive? It, it, it just boggles my mind. Um... You know, and, and, and to the point where they can't get the servers running properly and like I just said, the price of gold has gone up and with, with the price of everything else going up in the world at the minute, um, I think they're just doing themselves an injustice by just <laughs> pricing people out of the game. Um, I've seen many, many big players going, uh, yeah, no, I'm not doing this anymore. Um, <clears throat> recently, and good for them, Um the kind of same is for me too. Uh, so yeah, just just bad economy. And you know, if they really wanted people to, um, you wanted to give people a reason to push, give people a reason to want to spend and better themselves in the game, then why not just increase the prizes slightly? It doesn't make that much of a difference. Surely, it's like they put 
legendary is on the pedestal. You know, yes, there is some massively overpowered prize cards out there, the Peugeot and stuff like that. Um, and maybe you don't want the game floating with them. But mediocre legendaries like that, that the last one that it was an RQ88. It's not a fantastic legendary prize car. Um, slightly better than its counterpart of the uh, of the Lycan Hypersport. But you're gonna if you're gonna max one of the two, you'd max the Lycan Hypersport because it can be used in finals. It can be used in other events. Whereas the Famer Supersport is a prize car. Um, and much, much less likely to be able to be used in any sort of event. Maybe I'm just being cynical. I don't know. Um, I really, really don't know. But th this is just my kind of views on things at the minute. And I, I think they're just they're just going to continue to push people out of the game, push people um, onto the free to play side, um, and. It's not going to work for them. You know, I've seen a lot of friends have sent me pictures of their gold prices going from up by 20, 20 or 30 euros, something like that. That's crazy. Um, absolutely crazy. <clears throat> um, and I don't really know what to say the solution is, but that was some of my thoughts, to be fair. Um yeah, <laughs> probably going to be in trouble for that one with them, but, you know, well, you know me, I don't sugarcoat it either, I uh, pretty much say as it is. Right, I waffled on that much that I didn't even realise I've finally got to the last round here on this video. Um, so as you can see, I have been using a lot of Max Depics, so as I said prior to this that I do apologize for it um, I can only use what I've got and I don't bring any sort of half-baked epics really ever um, so if you're here please do smash that like button and smash that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed um, good luck with this challenge I think you're gonna need it I will upload the next one uh, just after this one. I've got to just record that one also. Uh, so I went with the Audi uh, as being my first prize car because the Audi I want much more than the Mitsubishi. The idea was that if I can't get through the next one, um, although I have, I would have preferred to have had the Audi 99 times out of 100 over the Mitsubishi. I just I feel that it was a very good epic. Um, not so much a very good legendary unless you are going to be able to max it. So, yep, I went for the Audi and very happy with that decision. So, thank you for watching, guys. Really, really good luck. Like I said, um, it's not an easy challenge. I wish you all the best with it. Um, thank you for watching. Have a great day. And I will catch you next time for another Top Drives video. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.